everyone, Alexandra here. So today we are looking over this tool called Butter. As you can see, I'm already in it. And you can use Butter to create basically workshops or any kind of training event. And this tool essentially replaces classic webinars where you want people to be like super active in the conversation. And I would say you can actually use it for meetings as well, but the tool does have some limitations. So let's kind of look through some of the things you can do. So on the left side here, you have your mic settings, video settings, and the obvious sharing options. So you can share your screen or something you will be interested in as a host is the spotlight mode. So you can add, for example, myself, and I can take the spotlight and then all of the participants in the workshop will be basically appearing on the right side here. And then to close this spotlight, you can just click on close. And then one thing I like a lot about Butter is these reactions and cue options. So reactions aren't that interesting, but it helps hosts get kind of an idea of how the workshop is going. And you also have a soundboard, kind of like this one. And yes, this can be a bit intrusive, which is why you want to always make sure you don't have enable for all on so that, you know, someone you might not know that well that's in your workshop won't come in and, you know, click on the crickets. Now, the best feature in Butter is the Q option, which kind of lets people say when they have maybe a comment or a question. And then you can just go here at the top and you will see who is next, basically. So you will know exactly which person should take the mic next. And you can actually go and give that person the word. So this will allow that person to be highlighted and basically finally say something during that workshop. And this is super fun if you're using it for meetings because I forgot to mention, but the tool is free to use as of right now. Maybe it won't be in the future, but still, if you want to use it right now for meetings, you can just go again to the queue section. And if there's someone who's maybe a bit shy to jump in and share their ideas, you have the I have an idea option here at the top. And of course, you've got your chat in here and you can see it on the right side of the screen. And the chat is nothing super special, but you know, you can actually share images in here and GIFs and emojis and there's multiple rooms so that you can have maybe a separate chat for facilitators so you can kind of manage how things are going. And you also have this notes section where either you as the host or a participant can take notes as the workshop progresses. Now at the top, remember, you can always find your settings for, you know, audio and video. And I am guessing they will keep updating this. So you will have a bunch of extra options. Perhaps we can get maybe some virtual backgrounds in the future. And you also have a overview of the participants as well as everyone who is in the waiting room. Because when you have the request to join session on, you will have to manually approve people before they participate in the workshop. One thing I want to say before I move on is that I don't think the tool yet has a recording option, which is why I'm using a separate tool to record this. So hopefully that will be something we are going to see in the future. Now, if we head over to the right side of our screen here, we have some extra fun options which will help you keep your audience engaged. And first of all, we have the agenda. And here you can kind of add something like maybe if you want to talk about content marketing, add something like five minutes and click on save. And then people will get an estimation of how long a talk will last and how long the entire workshop will be. Then you have the timer. Now, this is quite interesting to use. I recently participated in kind of like these Zoom meetings where you would be able to work in real time with other people and basically to focus and do deep work at the same time as them. 
And after five minutes of introductions, the host would just put like 50 minutes of music in the background. Now you can kind of do this in Butter as well. Just go to your timers, click on Quick Start. And here you have, you know, a lot of options to work with this. You can also just add maybe something like five minutes and give it a title like brainstorming. You might also want to turn on the I'm done indicator so people can click on this when they're done. So in case everyone's done before the five minutes are up, you can continue your workshop before waiting for the timer to end. And another fun thing, if you want to, is that you can add some music for this. And I'm just selecting a color and I'm going to click on start to show you kind of what this sounds like. And I've paused the timer for a bit because I want to show you this feature at the bottom here where you can add an extra minute. You know, just in case people need some extra time to take care of a task you gave them. And this here will be the button for showing if you're done earlier. And basically, you can just resume the timer at some point. And close it from here. Then you have some polls. And basically, these are either multiple choice or open-ended. So you can ask something like, something as basic as, what do you want to talk about next? Of course, you also have some, again, if you go to the editing options and the settings, you have some setting situations in here. So for example, you can make a short poll for maybe five minutes so that you can quickly get the results. And then you have a bunch of options in here. You might want to always turn on the anonymous answers. Again, click on update. And basically, this is what the poll looks like. And you're going to click on start poll. And people will be able to come in here, write their answers. And you can just end the poll whenever you want to or open another one at the same time. And I'm going to click on stop poll. And basically, after the poll is done, you will be able to kind of look through the results and see what people have shared. And this is just better than having them go in the comment section and say that, yes, we want to receive a specific gated content or no, we don't want to talk about that. Now, another fun feature is that you can actually create breakout rooms to basically separate the participants if you have you know a lot of people attending just go to new breakout and you can just split people into pairs and groups and there's a bunch of options in here you might want to have at least one main facilitator for all of this to make sure that the groups actually work the way you want them to and then click on start breakout and people will receive an invitation like this. But before that, they have a couple of seconds to actually see that they are being moved automatically to the breakout room. And if you noticed on the left side, the tool actually recognizes when you're speaking and lets you know that your mic is not turned on. And to go out, to leave this breakout room, just click on stop breakout session and the session. Again, we are staying in this breakout room for a couple of seconds. You know, you can say your goodbyes and then you will be taken to the main room. So now we are in the main room. And some other things you can use in Butter are the integrations. And there is, for example, a um, Miro integration. And this is probably the one you will be using most often. And you can essentially just present whatever you have in Miro, close the breakout room, of course. And simply put, you can use this for brainstorming, mind mapping, presenting anything. Again, you do have the options to share your screen and upload a PDF as a presentation. And some other integrations are the YouTube one, Google Drive, which includes slides. And you also have a whiteboard. So this is just something simple. And the thing is that 
if you start working within one whiteboard, it will get saved automatically so you can reuse it every single time, maybe for a different workshop to leave. This workshop essentially, we're just going to click on leave and the session either for myself or for everyone. And you can even rate this session and this is super helpful for hosts who want to get some feedback. Before I personally sign off, I want to remind you that you do have this recaps option in here to kind of show you how an event went. You have a participant list, a chat log, poll results, and some personal notes from your side. And under settings, something I would recommend is for you to personalize your workspace name. Just edit this and add something like marketing workshop or anything like that. And this will make it just a bit easier on your branding. And remember that some people don't want to log in with their image or with a live recording of themselves. So they can actually select an avatar. It can be really anything. And yeah, this is it. There's obviously some kind of like tips in the Butter Handbook so that you will understand some best practices on using the tool. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. Enjoy the day. Bye.